Hi guys, happy Sunday and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to All Things Knee. If you are new or returning here and you have not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button down below and turn on your post notifications so you won't miss my upload. So as you can tell from the title, this is going to be a what I eat in a day video. This video has been highly requested on my channel and I didn't plan to do it this particular day, but I got up and I was doing breakfast and I was vlogging for the weekly vlog. So I was like, why not just, you know, make it into a what I eat in a day video because I am going to be cooking after. So I decided to do it. So as you can see here, well, as you saw, I did um, season my tuna and now I'm applying mayo. I love to season with everything I have here, red onions, sive, shadow benny, pimentos. You know, I made sure I put some lime before to get rid of that freshness. Now you see me applying my favorite spice which is paprika i would have put mayo and salt there that i'm going to mix that in and then i'm going to add my booties so there i'm just applying well putting as much booties as i would like i like my food a bit spicy and in my household we don't mind some spicy food so yeah just put in some more seasoning if i had sweet peppers i would have put sweet peppers also but i don't have any now i'm toasting my bread because you know i love to toast my bread um i don't toast it too crisp because you know i find like crisp toast bread is for like butter and cheese not really for tuna just in my opinion then to drink i'm having some green tea if you watch my channel you'll know i love green tea and as you can see well i'll bring the cup closer so you all can see I just put the tea bag and some hot water and that is it for me. Same thing with my ginger tea in the morning. I don't want to put milk and sugar on my stomach, right? So now we are going to make our sandwich and let me be quiet so y'all can just see and enjoy the aesthetic. Okay, y'all, so it's lunchtime now, and for today's menu, I decided to do like a mini Sunday meal. This was Tuesday. I did do this video on Tuesday. However, the Sunday before, I did nothing close to a Sunday meal. I actually did fry rice with baked chicken and potato salad. So Tuesday, I was like, you know what? I am going to do some macaroni pie, I'm going to do some lentil peas, and I am going to do some more chicken, but I'm going to do stew chicken. So here I'm just preparing the macaroni pie. So I did boil the macaroni already, as you can see. Um, I did apply the cheese, I applied some milk. And for me, personally, I know it have persons who, you know, they real season their macaroni pie. For me, I don't do too much for my macaroni pie because sis be thinking about the calories and yeah mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> so for me i just apply the milk and the cheese you know sometimes i put a little piece of butter in there um i may or may not apply some um spices so here 
this particular day i decided to you know i had some carrots you know the five pack for 20 cents so i decided as you will see later on in the video to put some carrots in there so um that's me right now applying more milk because i like my macaroni pie i must be able to eat it on its own it must not be dry and one thing i use to have it moist is milk and as you may or may not noticed i did use skim milk because you know it's supposed to be low in calories at least that's what they say right i did apply the carrots and that is me mixing it in then with my paprika again i told you sis love paprika is literally my favorite spice if I had like a ton of pimentos, I might have put some pimentos also, but the pimentos was limited. As I said, this video wasn't planned. So that is going to be it, I think. The, yeah, so you guys can enjoy. Okay, y'all, so now we are on to our stewed chicken. And as you can see there, I have a Dr. Pepper. So at this moment, um, I was drinking um, a Dr. Pepper. However, um, this Dr. Pepper, I've been drinking since last night. So I had like half last night and half, you know, I had half the night before and half um, this day. Then you will see a 1.5 liter water. Yes. That is what I started off drinking. I tried to drink two 1.5 liter water every day. So back to the chicken. So as you can see, I already seasoned my chicken. I left it in the fridge to marinate, all that good stuff. So I'm just mixing it in there. And then I am um, showing you guys. And then I'll apply it to the pot. Okay, y'all. So now we're moving on to stewing our chicken. So as you can probably see here, I did not use burnt sugar. You see in that dark thing in that bottle there, it's called car's rip. It's made out of molasses. And that is what I stew my chicken with. Um, most of the times I have that in my house. If we don't have that, then I will burn sugar, but it's very unlikely for me to do that, right? So yeah, I'm just applying the chicken to the pot, as you can see. now guys i'm about to coat the chicken with all that lovely cars rip so my chicken could be nice and dark and well stewed look at that lovely jewelry from ice.tt icejewelry.tt on instagram y'all <laughs> Okay, y'all, so here I'm just leaving the chicken to sort of marinate and, you know, release its natural juices, let all the seasoning soak into all that goodness. Yeah. Okay, guys, so right now I'm going to drink some more water, but as you can see, I am preparing another sandwich. I just put these two slices of bread in the toaster and i'm going to have that with the rest of my soda because at this time i am hungry again that one sandwich did not do anything for me much 
so i'm going to make another sandwich and i'm making sure my bread is toasted just how i like it it's not too crisp and it's not too soft and you know by now the tuna paste is extra good because it has marinated it was in the fridge so it got a little chilly so i'm about to make another sandwich i'm about to eat that so this will be my second sandwich for the day yeah and yeah i'll eat that while my chicken you know do its thing Okay, y'all, so now that the um, chicken has, you know, soaked up its natural juices and it's dried down and the seasoning and the flavors are well absorbed, you see that container that I did not throw away that the seasoned chicken was in, I just added some water in there and apply it to the pot. Now, we put the chicken on the back burner, you know, a slower burner, slower heat and um, we go going on to our lentils now if you have been watching me again you know i like to use fresh green seasoning so i already boiled my lentil i pre-boiled my lentil that's why you see it's steaming hot like that i applied some green seasoning to the pot sometimes i'll burn some garlic and onions however this seasoning has garlic onion shadow benny pimento side celery thyme rosemary the works so I just put some of that in the pot, apply my lentils, and then I am going to be adding some water because I decided I'm going to do some coconut stew lentils. So I'm going to be adding water, adding coconut powder, and then putting some more of that lovely cans rip. Yeah. So this is me applying the water here. I'm giving it a little stir. And then you will see me coming in with my coconut milk and of course I'm going to stir that in also I believe I um, also got this coconut milk only plenty for 20 yeah don't worry a lovely grocery haul is coming in the next weekly vlog
Hi guys, so I know I haven't spoken to you all all day thus far. I've just been working on getting you all this what I eat in a day content. However, I just popping on to say hi now because this one's gonna take a rest before work later, right? <laughs> So when this food is finished, I'm going to let the pie cool, of course, before I cut it. And then, and then I'll just either eat or take the food to work. I don't know what I'll do yet. I'm just waiting on the stew to dry down. I did taste it. It is really good. <laughs> and then, well, you can see the milk. So I'm going to turn off my stove, let these two dry down, and the food is basically done. Okay, y'all, so it's time to eat now, and y'all know sis hungry. I mean, sis done bust down an next sandwich and stuff. So, here I'm just preparing some cucumbers because I don't have any salad. <laughs> I had no lettuce and tomatoes. Well, you know, a good full fresh salad would have been great. However, I am, you know, going to do with what I have. Thank you, Jesus, for it. Um, So, I'm cutting up some cucumbers here um some is for my food and some i'm going to you're going to see what i do with it so i'm separating it and then i'm going to be slicing some limes not too much lime because you know you don't want too much acid you know for the bones and stuff that's the lime running away from me sad sad you know so i'm just going to slice those limes and then i'm going to get my cup I love this clear cup for my detox water. Yes, you all, I tried to have my detox water. And at this time, I already had like um, almost finished a 1.5. So I was going to open a fresh bottle to add to my detox water. I don't know why I thought you all were seeing all that in this clip, but you all were not. You all only got this little piece. Yeah, so... That's me adding mint leaves now. Yeah, guys, cucumber, limes, because I had no lemons. If I had lemons, I would have done lemons. And um, mint leaves. Yeah. Okay, y'all, so that's what it looks like, um, my detox water. I try and detox when I'm feeling a bit bloated. I try and detox if I know I had something that I wasn't supposed to have. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, I, I think it's just a mind thing. Like, if you have junk and then you detox, it's like, okay, okay. <laughs> Let me try and, you know, get myself together. So that's me adjusting the camera, and now I'm going to... um. Just put my stew chicken into the plate and then I'm going to put my um, cucumbers and I'm going to have an excellent meal. So let me stop babbling and let you all enjoy looking at the video. okay y'all so that's basically it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching do not forget to like comment and subscribe turn on your post notifications so you won't miss any uploads you won't miss my videos 
so what am i planning to do for dinner so because for dinner i'll be at work i will not be home i'm actually carrying the water you all see me prepared as well as half of a popo <laughs> that's basically going to be it i have that popo there i am going to slice it up and put it into a bowl i'm going to work with that and the water sometimes you really have to push yourself so when i'm going to work I literally would not walk with anything that I shouldn't really shouldn't be having right so I literally push myself to eat right because I'm at work and I can't get anything else right I want to work overnight I can't get anything else when I'm home honey there's temptation but I'm not home and I'm just out and about there's temptation but when I'm on work there's no food there so thank you guys so much for watching as I said, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you won't miss my upload. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.